hello friends so in this video i will describe the lower limb muscles and uh, the nerve supply it is just a quick revision so you can use it for the examination purpose so uh, first let us see the lower limb just first thing you have to do is to identify the side of the lower limb you can identify the right or left limb by the position of the great toe and you can also identify it by the head of the femur so here this one is the right lower limb you can see here and uh, let us just begin with the front of the thigh so here uh, we can see front of the thigh muscle so in the front of the thigh we can see the one oblique muscles here you can see it it extends from the lateral to medial side from the anterior superior spine towards the medial side of the upper end of the tibia and this muscle is the sartorius and uh, this sartorius muscle it is supplied by the femoral nerve and uh, the structures lies above the sartorius on the medial side of the front of the thigh here it uh, in the front of the thigh it form a depression which is a triangular in shape it is a muscular depression which is triangular in shape present in the into the front of the thigh in femoral region and this triangular depression is known as the femoral triangle so here you can see femoral triangle is located somehow here so the boundary of the femoral triangle so uh, you can see this muscle this is the adductor longus muscle and uh, femoral triangle is bounded on the medial side it is bounded by the medial border of the adductor longus on the lateral side it can bounded by the medial border of the sartorius muscle and it having a base which is formed by the inguinal ligament which we are not able to see here because the lower limb is separated so this is the femoral triangle now you can see apex is directed downward base is above and uh, uh, the floor of this triangle it is formed by from medial to lateral you can form by adductor longus you can see this is adductor longus uh, it is a muscle of the medial compartment then next to it you can see pectineus so this muscle is a pectineus J just lateral to it you can see the swas major muscle and just lateral to it there is a iliacus muscle so uh, ilia ilio swas we can together say this iliacus and swas muscle major as a ilio swas muscle out of this this uh, pectineus muscle having a dual supply it is supplied by the femoral nerve as well as the obturator nerve and uh, the iliacus and the swas major they are supplied by uh, we can say here the the iliacus is supplied by the femoral nerve root from the l2 l3 spinal segment and uh, the swas major is supplied by the uh, roots from the branches from the nerve root l2 and l3 now let us go below to the sartorius in front of the thigh just below to the sartorius there are total five muscles are located one muscle is deeper and the four muscles they are together known as the quadriceps femoris so four muscles of the quadriceps femoris are rectus femoris here you can see bipinnate muscle going straight downward from the um, anterior inferior iliac spine up to the patella so here you can see this is the rectus femoris muscle just medial to it you can see a uh, wide muscle which is the vastus medialis lateral to it you can see this one is the vastus lateralis muscle and when you lift rectus femoris little bit you can see just in between to you can see vastus intermedialis these four quadricep muscles they are supplied by the femoral nerve and when you dissect more deeper you can see at the lower part of the thigh in front of the thigh just below the vastus intermedialis there is a one small muscle is there which is known as the articularis genum and all these five muscles 
quadrus of femoris along with the articularis you know they are supplied by the femoral nerve so here you can see all the muscles of the front of the thigh they are supplied by the femoral nerve except that uh, pectineus it having a dual nerve supply it is also supplied by obturator nerve now let us move towards the medial side medial side of the thigh so medial side of the thigh you can see the slender muscle thin ribbon like slender slender muscle which is a gracilis so this is the gracilis muscle now let us move little bit uh, medial to gracilis you can see first adductor longus muscle adductor longus we have already seen in uh, front of the thigh also so this adductor longus muscle this one is the adductor longus just when you lift this adductor longus muscle you can see adductor brevis muscle just below the adductor longus the same direction muscles obliquely downward and uh, laterally okay so this is the adductor brevis muscle and below to it below to adductor brevis on the medial side you can see adductor magnus it is the largest muscle of the adductor compartment and you can see it is uh, widely spread uh, downward of the thigh also so all this muscle adductor longus brevis magnus gracilis all of them they are supplied by the obturator now and uh, so we can say that the all the muscles of the medial compartment of the thigh they are supplied by the obturator now obturator now having a two division anterior and the posterior division which is divided by a uh, adductor brevis muscle so uh, now when you see that the anterior division of the obturator now supplies the gracilis adductor longus muscle as well as it also supplies the adductor brevis muscle so uh, we have seen the anterior compartment and the medial compartment now let us move on the posterior side okay so uh, as we move on the posterior side of the thigh and also the gluteal region let us see first gluteal region as this uh, lower limb is dissected uh, we are uh, we may not be able to all the muscles but uh, let us see we can see the largest muscle this one is the gluteus maximus muscle you can see here uh, quadrilateral muscle direction of the fibers are downward and laterally and this gluteus maximus it is supplied by inferior gluteal nerve just deep to it this muscle is gluteus medius muscle okay and this gluteus medius it is supplied by superior gluteal nerve just deep to it fan shaped muscles you can see uh, fan shaped muscles right gluteus medius is also a fan, fan shaped muscle this two muscles above medius below gluteus minimus this gluteus minimus is again it is supplied by the superior gluteal nerve there is one an another muscle which is supplied by the superior gluteal nerve it is a tensed surface lata here we can see along with the gluteus maximus there is a tensor fascia lata muscle is attached okay so we have seen maximus below it medius below it minimus and uh, this is the piriformis muscle this piriformis muscle is the key muscle of this region when we when we reflect this gluteus maximus from its origin we can see one triangular muscle above and below from this muscle above and below the nerves and vessels passes above there is a superior gluteal nerve and below there is a inferior gluteal nerve and other such structures like sciatic nerve passes so this is the key muscles first we identify the piriformis then above we can identify there is a gluteus medius when we dissect the medius we can see the minimus so this is a piriformis and it is supplied by the ventral rami of s1 and s2 now uh just below the piriformis we can see these are the three muscles we can see uh two gemelli with the obturator internus here you can see the two small muscles superior gemelli just below it obturator internus below it 
inferior gamelae so the superior gamelae it is supplied by now to obturator internus obturator internus is supplied by the now to obturator internus and inferior gamelus it is supplied by the now to quadratus femoris and this quadratus femoris muscle is lies just below to obturator internus and quadratus muscle it is supplied by the now to quadratus femoris so this muscles are lie in above downward manner we can see the gluteus medius falls below piriformis then two gemelli with the obturator internus so superior gemelli then obturator internus then inferior gemelli then we can see the quadratus femoris muscle